We're now going to have a look at the backhand topspin against backspin. So Jeff here is demonstrating the swing for the backhand topspin against the backspin. So you'll notice that the bat goes down and starts way below table height and finishes up above his eye level. Okay. That will help you to generate more of a vertical swing to lift the ball up and over the net. You'll notice that Jeff's feet position is quite square on to where he wants the ball to go. So if he's facing towards me here now, okay, you'll, that is where he will want the ball to go. If Jeff wants to hit the ball down the line, you'll notice that he'll just turn his position a little bit so that he's facing down the line. Now I'm going to feed Jeff some backspin multi-ball and let's have a look at how Jeff copes with this. Now I'm going to generate some more backspin to Jeff and you'll notice that his stroke becomes more vertical, again to lift the ball up over the net. side-on position, you'll notice the low start and the high finish. So against the backspin, the stroke becomes quite vertical rather than coming forward. This is, to, again, to lift the ball over the net. The natural tendency of the backspin is to drag the ball down into the net. So you need to lift the ball up and over by using the vertical brushing stroke. From behind, you can notice Jeff's feet position it's very square on to where he wants the ball to go. And again, the start position is nice and low and the finish position high. You can see from the back as well here that Jeff just turns his body a little bit. With the backspin, you do have a little bit more time to be able to turn your, your shoulders a little bit more. The faster Jeff wants to hit the ball, the more he will turn and you'll see that he'll start to hit the ball from a little bit outside his left hip. 